Hello and welcome to today's demo of F5's ARX Intelligent File Virtualization Appliance with Oracle Sun 7000 ZFS Storage Platform. This demo is designed to show the integration of the F5 ARX system with the Sun 7000 series network attached filers in a typical heterogeneous NFS storage environment. Using the F5 and Oracle best of breed technologies together can give you a powerful, scalable, and agile storage infrastructure. This is a recorded demonstration of a client using the Oracle Enterprise Linux desktop connected to existing legacy NFS filers, two brand new Sun 7000 filers, and a new F5 ARX system. This demo will walk through five separate scenarios using the ARX and 7000 integrated system. First, simplifying data access with the creation and connectivity to a unified NFS namespace. We are going to use the ARX to export a single global mount point to the Linux client. Second, improving storage utilization by load balancing the creation of new files to the two new Sun 7000 filers, automatically distributing new files to both systems. Third, data control, the initial file placement by file type onto a specific filer. This will be shown with music and video media files. Fourth, reducing cost, the automatic storage tiering of data from one filer to another saving space and money on expensive Tier 1 storage. And last, easy data migration, the complete migration of all files from a legacy filer to the new Sun 7000s, moving all the files without user disruption. But first, a little background on the demo itself. Here is a simplified diagram of a typical storage environment. We have an Oracle Enterprise Linux client, the F5 ARX switches, and the filers used in this demo with everything connected to a common network. The legacy 1 and 2 filers on the left represent existing network attached storage devices. The two Sun 7000s on the right represent brand new filers that were just installed, as well as the F5 ARX switches. Okay, let's take a look at the demo. In the upper left-hand window of the client desktop, you see the Nautilus File Manager window with local files that are stored on the client's hard drive. In the upper right-hand window, we see a window called ARX. This is the ARX Unified Namespace view which is showing how the NFS file system looks when presented through the ARX global NFS export. It is a single mount point, showing a combined view of the four filers that exist in the network. The client does not actually know what kind or how many filers are actually located in the network. The ARX is a full NFS proxy device that can do this. On the middle and the left here, we have a window called Legacy 1. This is an existing filer with a bunch of different files on it. The client would not connect directly to this filer, but we are showing the contents for this demo so you can see what is happening behind the ARX. On the middle right, we have another Legacy filer, Legacy 2, with a bunch of files on it. Again, the client would not connect directly to this filer, but we are showing the contents for this demo. In the lower left window, we have a, uh, a Sun 7000. This is one of the brand new filers that was just installed. There are no files on this filer. The same is true on the right side. This is the second Sun filer that was installed that does not have any files on it. The client would not connect to either of these either, but we are showing the contents for this demo. During the demo, the ARX will load balance new files between these two filers. The 
first scenario we want to demo is the load balancing of new files to the new 7000s. Here we are copying some files from the client's hard drive to the ARX global export. As you can see, the ARX places half of these files on one 7000 and the other half on the other 7000, load balancing the creation of new files to both. This load balancing gives the storage admin increased filer capacity and performance without disrupting user access by manually having to remap all the exports in the shares. Additional filers can easily be added later when needed and new files would automatically be load balanced. This is a very popular feature of the ARX. The third scenario we will demo is the placement of new files by file type. In this demo, we have decided that all new music and movie files should be placed on the Legacy 2 filer. You don't want your employees' music and movie collections taking up valuable space on your expensive Tier 1 filer, so the ARX is going to place these files on the less expensive storage automatically. When we copy media files to the ARX export, all files with the MP3 and MPG extensions will be stored only on the Legacy 2 filer. So let's give that a try. As you can see, the media files are not placed on Legacy 1 or the new 7000 filers at all, but are directly placed on the Legacy 2 backend filer without the client ever knowing. This type of file placement policy gives additional control over the location of new files created within the NAS system. It also saves money on expensive Tier 1 storage. However, going back to take a look at the ARX export window, the client still sees and has access to all of their files in the global export, even though the files actually exist on four separate filers on the back end. All new files are load balanced to the new 7000s, but because of policies on the ARX, all media files are placed on Legacy 2. The next scenario we are going to demonstrate is the automatic tiering of files based on their file type. In this demo, we have decided that all Adobe PDF documents should not be stored on the expensive Legacy 1 filer, but rather we're going to migrate them via policy to Tier 2, the Sun 7000s. Using the ARX tiered storage wizard, we create a policy that will do this. So we give it a name of PDF, and we tell it that we want the source of the files to be Legacy 1 for Tier 1, and we want the target of Tier 2 to be the load balanced Sun 7000s. Now normally you would create a tiering policy of say 90 days, but for the purposes of this demo, we're gonna make it two minutes. We also need to tell the ARX how often to run this policy, which for this demo will be five minutes. Next, we tell the ARX what kind of files that we want for this policy. So we give it a name and tell it to look for all files with a PDF extension. The summary screen shows us the details of this policy. Now when we take a look at the ARX policy settings, we see that the wizard has created two new policies 
and that they are waiting for the first scan to start. As you can see, the Legacy One sales folder is now created on the Sun 7000s, one on each filer. Half of the PDF documents are located on each Sun 7000, four on one and five on the other. Again, because these Sun 7000s are being load balanced. This gives the storage admin tiering control of where files are located in the NAS environment, and more importantly, frees up valuable Tier 1 storage space for more critical files. The last part of our demo is the complete migration of all files from the Legacy 2 filer to the new Sun 7000s. In our demo, the Legacy 2 filer has reached end of service and we need to move everything off. We will use the ARX migration wizard to remove the Legacy 2 filer from use and tell it to migrate all of the files over to the Sun 7000s, again being load balanced. This is done seamlessly in the background. The user will never know that this has happened. Here we are using the ARX management interface to remove the Legacy 2 share and choose the load balance 7000 LB demo share as the target for the migration. After the ARX runs this policy and migrates all the files, it will delete the Legacy 2 share from the ARX and it will no longer be available. This gives the storage admin a very quick and efficient way to completely move all files off of an older filer without having to worry about remapping all the mounts and users to the new system. The ARX makes it easy to install and use new 7000 filers and remove older filers. You'll notice the client view of the unified NFS export still shows that all of the files are available and never knows that the Legacy 2 filer was removed from the system. Thank you for taking the time to watch the F5 ARX and Sun integration demo, which included five scenarios. Simplifying data access, the creation and connectivity to a unified NFS namespace. We use the ARX to export a single global mount point to the Linux client. Next, improving storage utilization, load balancing the creation of new files to the two new Sun 7000 filers, automatically distributing new files to both systems. Third, data control, initial file placement by file type onto a specific filer. This was shown with music and video media files. Fourth, reducing cost, automatic storage tiering of data from one filer to another saving space and money on expensive Tier 1 storage. And last, easy data migration, the complete migration of all files from a legacy filer to the new Sun 7000s, moving all the files without user disruption. We showed how these two best of breed products from F5 and Oracle, when used together, can give the storage administrator a very powerful, scalable, an agile tool for managing an NFS environment. For more information on the F5 ARX series appliances, please see f5.com. For more information on the Oracle Sun 7000 series of filers, please see oracle.com.